Do a little mowing today. We showed you a big old eight foot Del Marino finish mower previously, last year at some point. Eh, probably something a little bit more appropriate for a lot of folks out there with smaller tractors this time around. I'm gonna put it out there. I don't, I don't get finish mowers. They're not really my cup of tea, I think. You want to get a mower on your tractor i love the flail mower it's not well it's about the same price give or take uh, for a mower this size uh, for a flail mower versus a finish mower but probably more maintenance i guess in the long run on um on a flail mower you have all the individual blades and so you have some more cost there compared to just you know three blades on a finish mower more time to swap them all out if you want to do that but more versatility with a with a flail mower compared to a finish mower but to each their own we're showing it today. We sell them, folks like them. Okay, so I mean, while I like to showcase things that uh, I personally like, I also like to showcase things that people want, <laughs> even if I don't like them. So, and people want these. Uh, the Del Marino, we did a video specifically on it, a little short video. I don't know if you watch the shorts or not, they're 60 seconds or less, but check those out. Um, we got one coming out on how to make a, a finish more quick hitch compatible. And it's not really an issue with the bottom two links. It's going to be an issue with the top link. And so we used a top link adapter. You can buy those on Amazon if you already have a quick hitch or if you buy the traditional Spico quick hitch, the black version that uses bushings. For some reason, they include a top link adapter with that type of quick hitch, but not with the red E hitch. So why I don't have the answer, but that's an option for you if you're looking for a quick hitch and you plan on having um, a finish mower or other potentially non-quick hitch compatible attachments. So today we're mowing some trails around the property, uh, just some walking trails and you can see it's it's uh, the end of August, last day of August, August 31st and things are starting to come together. That stuff that looks like corn that I'm driving right next to is actually a food plot screen, a heavy duty screen and, and there's some areas that I planted earlier that's already over six foot tall and this stuff by the end of September, we'll all be over six foot tall as well and potentially seven or eight foot tall. And so that's serving a purpose of screening uh, my walking paths to and from deer stands come hunting season and uh, giving the deer some more security, at least the sense of security in the food plots while they're in there. Do have our forage greens, Nebraska's coming up nicely in the big food plot. Our corn's doing terrible. We're gonna mow most of that down and plant some winter rye, I think. Just a beautiful summer day and I must say, the rhino hide canopy is doing its job. It's working wonderfully to protect me from the, uh, the heat of the sun. And depending on the, the way that you're facing, you know, you get more or less protection with the canopy. It's not the same as a cab, but it's a pretty nice thing to have on there. And you can get yours from tractorcanopy.com. You may notice to the keen eye that I am using a different set of Bluetooth earmuffs today. And so hearing protection, I tried out the 3M version for a while. These are Pro Hear. All right, similar type of setup there. Honestly, I find these to be a little bit more comfortable uh, than the, the 3M. I think just the kind of the rubber cushioning that goes around your ears and then like around your glasses, uh, when it presses into the side of your head, I have not got a headache wearing these yet where I have a couple of times with the 3M over long periods of time, um, just from kind of that, the side of the glasses being pressed into your head there. So good reviews so far on the Pro here. I've recharged them, had to recharge them a couple times so far. I don't know if, I don't know how many hours I have on there, but uh, they're working well. I bought these and the 3Ms on Amazon. Um, just a good way to have hearing protection either way. So really there's nothing, nothing crazy about this video. It's just doing its job. It's a rear discharge mower. You can see where we have the shaggiest areas that are well over a foot. Uh, it does leave some, some shag, you know, where it's, where it's chopped everything up. A side discharge does the same thing. It just shoots it off to the side. But for the most part, there was not much shag there to worry about. You really just drop this thing down and go. It's designed to ride along the ground. And that's kind of where that top link adapter helps come into play as well. All four gauge wheels there are riding along and then following the contour. So as it kind of undulates and, and dips and everything else, um, it's just riding along to give you a more consistent cut that way. I've got on the highest setting. Again, we're doing our trails, kind of our pathways that are not like a lawn, so they're not the complete smoothest, flattest areas. And so I just didn't want to scalp anything, so I kept it in the highest setting there. So folks, other than that, this is a good look at something smaller, 60 inch mower on the 1025R. It will handle a little bit bigger mower potentially. This had like no issues at all. You're just mowing grass with this and you're not mowing, you're not even brush hogging, right? You're not mowing two, three, four foot tall stuff. You're just mowing six, eight, 10 inch stuff, you know, uh, depending on what you're doing, but uh, an easy application, an easy project today. I hope it displayed and portrayed what this setup can do for you. 
And if you're in the market for one of these or any other tractor tool for your tractor, whether it's for the three-point hitch or the front end loader, we'd love to earn your business. We ship nationwide. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,